Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to add a button to your header navigation in Squarespace 7.1 and 7.0. Squarespace 7.1 makes this really easy with its built-in header navigation button feature, but with Squarespace 7.0, it really depends on what template you're using. So we've included some simple copy and paste code so you can easily add a button to any Squarespace site. Okay, let's start with the easy one, how to add a button to your header nav in Squarespace 7.1. In your Squarespace 7.1 site, click edit, hover over your header and click edit site header. Then under elements, you'll see the button option here. So you can toggle the button on and off and you'll set the button title and the button link from this menu. So I'm gonna change this to contact. You'll see a change up here, it will say contact. And then I'm gonna link it to my contact page. So to link it, I'm gonna click on the cog icon, which is gonna open up our link editor. Then make sure you clicked onto page and we're going to look for our contact page. So this is my contact page. So that's how to link it to another page, but you can also link it to a phone number, a file to download, an email address, or an external website. So there's lots of options for how to use your button. Click Save, click Out, and then click Save on your page. To customize the look of your button in Squarespace 7.1, you'll want to go into your design panel and then site styles. And there's a combination of settings that make up your buttons. Your fonts, colors, and your button settings will affect what your buttons look like. So to change the font, you can do this under fonts, buttons. To change the colors, you can edit any of your color themes and then find the colors for the button, background, and text. And then to change the actual button style, you can do this under the buttons settings. And this is going to give you settings for solid or outlined, different shapes, and you can also adjust the padding of your buttons. And that's it for Squarespace 7.1. Okay, so now let's jump into how to add a button into the header of your Squarespace 7.0 site. Now, right now I'm looking at the Brine family template, but if you're using Squarespace 7.0, it's probably pretty likely that you're not using Brine. You might be using a different sort of template, but the number one step here is to figure out which template you're using. And I'm gonna link below a guide to find out what exact Squarespace 7.0 template you're using. Because essentially there's completely different instructions for every single template family in Squarespace 7.0 on how to add a button to the header nav. So there is one template for Squarespace 7.0 that makes adding a button to your navigation really easy. And that is the Bedford template. Because in every single website created on the Bedford template, the last link is always turned into a button. And that's just a special feature that only this template has. So if you're using Bedford, you already have a button in your navigation. So if you're using Bedford and you don't see this button in your navigation already, just go into design, site styles, scroll down to site navigation and enable nav button. So you can turn this on and off and it's gonna turn the last link into a button. Super simple. The second template that has sort of a button feature, not quite as good as Bedford, is the Brine family. The Brine family templates actually have two sets of navigation. So you have your primary navigation and your secondary navigation, and you can change one of these into buttons. You can do this by going to design, site styles, scrolling down to your header primary navigation or header secondary navigation, and you can actually change the style to button. Right now you can see all of these are buttons, but you can change the secondary navigation to be something else completely. So I'm gonna change it to plain. And you'll see now that we have buttons for the primary and plain for the secondary. So you can switch this up any way you like, and that could be a good solution for adding a button to your nav with Brine. Aside from those two templates, there's nothing else built in for adding a button to your Squarespace 7.0 site, but it's pretty simple with a bit of code. At this point, I'm gonna refer you over to our written blog post so you can find your Squarespace 7.0 template and the code we've created for you to use. 
I'll link that post below the video, but really we've, I think, covered every template family for this. So you can find your template and just copy and paste the code into your site. And that's automatically going to give you a button in your header. So I'll just show you an example. You'll want to come into design and custom CSS. And this is where you'll paste the code you get from our blog post. In this case, I've copy and pasted the code for the brine secondary navigation button. And this code is cool as well because this is going to target the very last link. So it's hard to tell now because I've only got one link in there. But if I click save and if I go into pages and add another page into the secondary navigation, you'll see that only the last link has the button. So instead of doing the whole secondary navigation, it just targets that very last link. And all of the codes for all of the templates work like this. After you've copied and pasted it in your code, you'll see the button that has a pill shape. It has a yellow border, black background, and white text. And you can easily edit all of those design elements just by going back into design, custom CSS. And you can see this list here. So we have background, which is the background color, color, which is the text color, padding, border radius, and a border. So you can edit any of this stuff. We could change the background to pink. We could change the text color to black. You could adjust the padding to anything that you want. Obviously, this isn't looking very good, but <laughs> this is a good example of how easy it is to change. You could change the border radius to zero, which will make it a square. And if you don't want a border, you can either just remove this line completely, or you could change it to zero pixels. You can also change the color here and the type of border here. So it's really easy to edit even if you don't really understand CSS. And I'll also link the CSS basics guide. And if you go into that post as well and scroll down past where we have those copy and paste codes, we do break down every element with a little bit more information on how to change it if you're still not 100% sure. So definitely check out that post if you're not 100% sure what to do here. And that's pretty much it. So obviously a lot more simple to add a button to your Squarespace 7.1 site, but hopefully we've made it just as simple with your Squarespace 7.0 site with providing all of the codes and the step-by-step -step instructions on how to edit those codes. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.